Chaim Oran, the wife of Rabbeinu, Nanach, Nachmo, Nachmo, Mima. Ba'az Amadu Rabbi Yudol, Ulu Rabbi Shmuel Isaac. And then Rabbeinu said to Rabbi Yudol and Rabbi Shmuel Isaac, Luchu Lachem, leave. This is talking about on Shemini Atzeres when everyone's dancing. So first we saw it before yesterday that the, he, Rabbeinu was with his Hasidim. And then the rest of the town came in. So then Rabbeinu, he dismissed his Hasidim. Can you talk last week, Imam? I have to deal with him. The aim is Shaykhem. This is not, it's not, not, not for you. The whole Kulehem Imenu and they left. And then there was great, great rejoicing with loud commotions and callings and song and happiness. And then Rabbeinu of blessed memory himself, he was dancing a lot. Min Ezizman Kodma Laila from a little before the night, Ad Eze shows Pesoch Halayla Shesimchas Torah until the middle of the night of Simchas Torah, the day that we rejoice with the Torah. Ukvayu Dua Goydel Niflo Itarevo Is Neimus Kedushas Arikuchlo, and it is already known the other wonderment and sweetness and delight of the holy dancing of Rabbeinu Kimishel Orazos. Whoever never saw this, Lo Ra Toy Miyama, he never saw good in his life, in his days. And it is already explained in a different place. That in that year, Rabbeinu danced a lot. That is on Shemini Ateris. And on the third meal of, of Shabbos, when he said, when he said the Torah, I I saw the golden candelabra of the Purim and on Purim, Nisan, and also on the first day of the month of Nisan, the wedding of his daughter Sarah, the rock at Harbi in Bito Akala, and he danced a lot with his daughter on the third meal of Shabbos of the wedding. After he said the awesome Torah on the verse, that, and he is like a room that goes from his chupa. He based on the Torah, his chupa called Nifla, Me'elu Atevois. Because at the beginning, when Rabbeinu said that Torah, he started with a wondrous voice. When he said these words, and he is like a bride, a, a groom. He is like a groom that goes from his chupa. But when he gave over this Torah to us, the Chsav Yodo, in his handwriting, his holy handwriting, he started in his handwriting, it was started from the verse, from the beginning of the verse. Previous, it says, Vashemesh Samuel now, and after he said this Torah, he danced a lot with his daughter. Fortunate is the eye that saw this. And he heard from his holy mouth. That he said himself, This year I danced a lot. Because there were, it was the rumors that there were going to be Decrees Shikorin Punktin al Yisrael. They were called these decrees were called Punktin. That they started uh, kidnapping children from Israel and putting them in the army for like 25 years. And uh, that was if they were lucky. They didn't. If they weren't, uh, who knows what? Before that, they made it. Ki because through dancing and clapping, mamtikim hadinim, we sweeten the judgments. And we nullify the decrees. Like it is explained in the Torah, and these are the judges, judgments in the 10th Torah of Lukute Moran. Which was said also about this concern of this edict of the Punktin. More in Chaim Moran, Chaptal, 24. Omar, 
He's Alulai Shaashu Libiusi. He said, Pray for me. Rabbi Mu said, Pray for me that I should return to my health. And I will lead you on a new way, which never was in the world. Even though it is in the old way that was already. Even still, it is completely new. 